What's up, you guys and ghouls? Stein Fox here, Earl of the Greyhorn Pagans. And I have something to admit. I gave in. I gave in and went to see The Northman in the cinema, in the movie theater. And I want to talk about it. I want to make like a, a movie review. Because I just got back, so it's still fresh, fresh-ish. That was my jacket, whatever. <clears throat> so, The Northman. Uh, I'm going to try and keep it as spoiler-free as I can. Which is going to be hard when I want to talk about it. Um, I like the movie. I did. Um, a, uh, a good bloody revenge story. It always works. It always works. Um, what I found refreshing is that for once it wasn't, um, you know, set in Sweden or Norway or Denmark or, you know, the like the, the Scandinavian mainland, so to speak. No, this was set in Iceland, which is a absolutely beautiful country. Um, I've never been there, my uh, brother and my mother have, um, they absolutely loved it and from what I saw from the scenery and, uh, and all that, I'm not sure if that was actually shot in Iceland, but it was amazing, it was, it was epic. Um, yeah, what else is there, is there to say about it? I like the, that they involved the uh, the Key van Roos in it, although I'm not entirely sure of the historical accuracy that the, um, the Vikings and the Key van Roos didn't like each other, you know, for you know Slavs and Vikings. Uh, they shared a lot of the same gods, different names, maybe, but basic principle. Um, like the uh, the archetypes are the same, you know, just like the the Norse and the Germanics. You got uh, Odin and Wotan. You got Thor and Donar. Um, you know, same gods <laughs> under a different name. Um, and I believe that in Slav mythology, some of them carry different weapons. Um, Perun, Perun. I don't know, sorry, I don't speak Slav. Um, which, uh, like his counterpart, is Donar, Thor. I believe in Slav mythology, instead of a big ass hammer, he wields a axe, like a battle axe. Um, still, you know, the Thunder God, the most powerful of all gods, like, powerful of all gods. Um, so I'm not sure if there was animosity uh, between them. Like I know that the um, the Kievan Rus, they they um, they have a Scandinavian Viking background as well. Um, but you know you, you gotta have uh, you gotta have slaves and. I mean, it's kind of refreshing that they went east instead of west this time, uh, as with the show Vikings, for example, you know, they went to um, Britain and France. Um, so, you know, that was interesting. Uh, I, uh, I like that the period clothing uh, that the, uh, the Slavs, the, the, the Kivan Rus, War. Um, it looked accurate to me. I, I did recognize the um, the Slavic symbolism, and um, it it looked like something they uh, they wore back in those days. Um, I love the cast. the The casting was uh, was good, although what <laughs> what Nicole Kidman does in a a, a Viking Slav period 
film. I have no idea. I have no idea. They they could have cast someone else for that role, and I don't know. It was it was weird seeing her, you know, as the only face that I like really recognize. A lot of actors I don't I don't know, but they played their roles well. Um, and again, just as in Vikings between uh, Ragnar and Rollo, the um, the, the war between family, you know, uh, brother and, and half-brother, uh, father, uncle, whatever, killing each other and whatever. Yeah, I mean, it makes for a good revenge story plot. Um, but that's that, that's so inaccurate. That's one of my main, my main commentaries on it. Why does it always have to be family? That kills each other. That was not a thing back in those days. Like family was everything. Family, blood, it was everything. So that that I really don't get. Um, yeah, it's a good revenge story, whatever. But so many things were historic historically accurate. Um, even at at some point, uh, like it, it felt really. You know, the, the the stories they told, that the, the shamans told, you know, and the way they did it, it felt, fair, felt very shamanistic, it felt very mythological, you know, like, like, like it could have been told uh, back in those days. I love that they included, minor spoiler, that they included a, um, a Draugr, a zombie, zombie, um... That was a trippy part. It was a trippy part. It was it was epic, but it was trippy. Um. Um. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah you, you gotta have your love angle. Like you gotta have. You can't do <laughs> a revenge movie without having a uh, a love angle. And uh, the actress that played the love interest. I don't know her name. Sorry, I'm bad with with names I, I do recognize her I do recognize her um I don't know who she is though she was pretty and she played it well you know she could uh, could she be a slav like a true true slav I don't know I guess she had some slavic features um Looked really innocent, so you know, for a big ass burly berserker, um, it's it's a good uh, yeah. Tim, Timmy, like, Timmy liked the movie as well, even though he didn't see it. Yeah, Tim. Sorry, that cut of mine. But you know, he, he got a big ass burly uh, berserker. Um, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna a wolf berserker bear wolf I'm not gonna pronounce it because I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher it you know I I can I can read it and I can if it, if I if I see the name I'll be able to properly pronounce it but from the top of my head I'm gonna butcher it so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother um, and then a innocent innocent looking uh, white haired fair skinned um slough girl it works you know it works you know saving the innocent and all that um and the other thing that really uh that really bothered me you know i'll see you at the gates of hell i mean hell in in norse mythology in norse belief it's it's not the greatest place to be, but you know, it's it's not the Christian hell. It's not the Catholic hell, not the, the, the Abrahamic hell. But they really made it seem that way, you know? Oh, see you at the gates of hell. I've, I'll find you and fight you at the gates of hell. That, 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 
yeah, it sounds epic. It sounds awesome. You know, oh, I'll fight you with the gate at the gates of hell with my, you know, special weapon and all that stuff. You know, yeah, it's cool. It's epic. It sounds cool. But it's not accurate. Like they Christianized hell. And like I said, yeah, it's it, it <laughs> in Norse mythology, in Norse belief, no, it's not the best place to be. I mean, it's boring there. You know, it's boring. Nothing nothing really is going on. Um, but it's not like the Christian hell that it's, you know, a place where bad people go. I mean, yeah, we do have those. Of course, you know, Niflheim, Muspelheim. Um, and farther down even, like at, way at the bottom of the Yggdrasil. But okay, that was the one thing that... Um, that bothered me because they kept repeating it over and over and over and over again. You know, see you in hell, beat you at the gates of hell, fight you at the gates of hell. We get it. We get it. So, overall, uh, I think it was more historically accurate as a movie than Vikings was as a series. Although, I enjoyed Vikings more. I don't know. I, it, it's a good movie. Um, is it worth seeing? Is it worth going to the, to the cinema for? Um, yeah. You know, like I said, it's a, it's a good movie bloody revenge movie with a viking slav pagan um tint subject sauce whatever um so if you're like if you're into that and you want to see it on the big screen go watch it if you're into that but you don't, uh, like you don't think it's worth waiting for, uh, like seeing it on the big screen. I mean, you can wait till the uh, till the Blu-ray comes out, or um, or when it's, um, you know, when when it comes on demand, you can wait for that. You know, it's not a a must see it's good it's a solid movie the acting is good the story is good more historically more historically well accurate in my opinion than vikings but you don't really have to go to the cinema for it. You can wait till the Blu-ray comes out. You can wait till it's on demand. You can torrent it for all I care. Um, it's it's as enjoyable at home as it is in the movies or in the um, in the cinema, in the movie theater, whatever. So that's what I think of it. You know, being a Norse Germanic pagan myself. I liked it, so yeah. I if it's if it's on demand, if it comes out on Blu-ray, I watch it. I'll watch it again. But I could have waited. So that's it. That's my my movie review, in a way, I guess. So leave this video a like. Um, leave something in the comments. You know what do you, what do you, what did you think? Of the movie, um, have I wasted my money for going to uh, to see it in the theaters, or you know, is it just something that's so bad that, like, why have you watched it? Why did you give in? Let me know. Okay. Subscribe to my channel, ring that bell, uh, do all the same things on Odyssey. You know, fire it up. Leave a nice comment, repost it, 
um, on Rumble, give that shit a rumble, leave something nice in the comments, share it, subscribe, ring the bell, do all of that, and join my tribe, because we do deal in historic accuracy. Um, links to everything in the comments below. And for now, this is Stein Fox, Jarl of the Greyhorn Pagans, signing off. See you later, guys. See ya.